Hi, I'm Afim Ede, Gordon Visual Artist, and I like to introduce my latest piece. It's actually showing two young birds, and they're growing into nice birds. They're actually starting to resemble their parents. So let's have a look, and I'll show you what I'm on about when I'm telling you about these birds maturing. If you take a look over here, you're going to see two birds parental caring the younger birds. So here's one of the parents. Here's his wings. Here's the neck of the bird, and here's the beak of the bird. And here's the chick that he's looking after. They're actually starting to get the nice fantail that resembles the parents' fantails. Here's the second parent. Here's the wingspan. The beautiful fantail plumage of the bird is here, which is all solid ink. Overall, what's revealed is a majestic royal king lion. In the last video, we called this lion King Lion because it inherited that beautiful mane-like crown. I was drawing this piece and my brother was at the back and he was looking at the art piece and he says, a day, that's a pretty bold line that you've drawn there. And then he came up to the art piece and he says, oh, and you got something going on in the mane. And I said, you mean to say you don't really see the head of the lion there? He said, no. He said he sees the lion's head here. And he said, this is the side view of a lion. This would be the nose and this would be the muzzle. And in the distance, when you look at it from afar, you do actually see a bold, majestic lion. What I'll call this particular piece is Majestic Royal King Lion. Crown Queen shows Samson between two leopards. The leopard is a creature of stealth. He's a compact, muscular animal, which is very powerful. He can actually pull or drag a carcass much heavier than himself to great heights. Here you have Samson between two leopards. The leopards would represent the wing of the bird, meeting that challenge of drawing the depiction of the bird without actually drawing the bird and Samson's hair is done in pure ink. Samson's body, which is a softer graphite outlined with ink. Within Samson's robe, which is also the body and tail of the bird, shows the features of a woman. Here you have the branch that represents the eyes. The leaves represents the eyebrows. This branch represents her cheek. This other branch represents her chin. The stem represents her neck, and the other leaves represents her hair or the adornment of her hair. Samson's robe also represents the crown of the queen. Behind the halo, which is hard graphite, is the galactic space, which is represented by a soft charcoal. And overall, the complete art piece is ink, graphite, and charcoal. This is a piece I call Crown Queen. I sign all my pieces and date them, which is very important when it comes to registering your work, copywriting your work. And all my pieces, originals or limited edition, would have my embossment to show that it's authentic. It has to have this embossment. And this embossment it's the line of Judah. At the bottom, it says original, referring to this piece as original art piece. My limited editions, they have the same line of Judah, but underneath the line of Judah, there's also the inscription of Anthony Ade. I've done six pieces of Samson. I'm going to do one more, seven. Samson has seven locks. I want one piece to represent each of Samson's locks. So look out for my next video. Until then, stay cool, peace, love you all, guidance.